Hello friends, and welcome to episode 5 of Game Revention, Dark Souls. Here we are again. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Episode 5? Episode 5. That's right. Why do you still suck at this game? <laughs> this is as far as I've gotten. That, of course, is Mr. Timothy Day. How's it going, Tim? Hello. And also joined by Mr. Troy Edwards. What's going on, Troy? What up, fam? Um, so, we had quite an adventure last week. Uh, I think we have a couple of bosses now uh, on the lineup, and I'm not really sure where our other paths are. Uh, but we have the, uh, the the Gel Bargoyle up there on the top of the chapel. We have Mr. Onion's Gate, which we haven't really figured out what we want to do with that yet. Um, we checked out Andre's pet in the basement, ran past him, and found a hydra and a bunch of crystal golems, which I, th I think we could have gotten them. I just got used to their fighting a little bit. Um, where where else? I mean, going back to like Fire Shrine, we could try those skeletons on the beach again. We have the uh, the underground lake now that we have some curses. So I guess we do have some options, but for uh, clarification for. Um Past, past participants that may have missed last episode is Andre, the uh, hard nipple blacksmith. Yes, he is. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Hard and burnt nipples. All the ladies love Andre. Do you think Andre's in Vin Diesel's camp or the Rock's camp? I think he's more of a, a, a Jacob, not an Edward. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I saw this part in the video. Pretty sure I dodged that. Okay, here we go. How we when Alright, we can get out. When you get that thing, it's gonna be like, you know, the guy that you killed the Sarlacc pet in Return <laughs> of the Jedi. Andre's gonna start crying. He's not gonna fish fix your S dock anymore. Oh yeah, and there's another path here that I didn't take before. So that's an option. I am root garden. Right, yeah, let's see what this is about. Mm -hmm. Let's read what that is. Purple moss. Oh, curious poison. Oh. Mm-hmm. So last time you guys talked a little bit about Breath of the Wild cooking and how like there was no speed button or whatever, you just had to do all that stuff and it was excruciating. Is there cooking in this game? Or you just like raw dogs and moss and you are there, there's, there's no cooking. You can no, raw no dog crafting. and moss. Uh, it's very there, good to know, though. There is crafting. Okay. That, I mean, you've actually already seen mm -hmm. the crafting menus, so that's not a spoiler. But you don't like crafting games. You're not building a giant house to keep, like, really glitchy zombies out of your <laughs> bedroom, so... Seven days to Tim. <laughs> Next on the Academic Gamer Podcast. Well, that's going to be real handy. Okay. How I get up there. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta Let's see. Fly. Okay. So that then... Oh, holy I don't know. <laughs> I've never... No oh, my God. <laughs> no, look up at the thing again. Look up at no, the I know. I'm just no, trying no. to get another angle on it. For... for okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wait, was there a shiny thing underneath this rock? That's cool. I'm That's not supposed to do that. That seems to be a bug. The rock texture they bought on Unity has some bugs. Mm -hmm. Oh, only Unity had been around. I guess Unity was around. I was using it in 2010. Before it was cool. Unity 2.x yeah. for life. Got that tattoo. Okay. Right. The illusory wall ahead. They keep saying that. They're, they're lying. That's interesting flavor text. Locked by some contraption versus mm -hmm. just like locked by a thing. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh. What the? Whoa! It worked that time. We've tried with the the illusory walls, and that was a no go. Oh, 
Well, oh. the other messages you've seen were all lies. I see. They were just messing. Well, that makes it easier. Who who died here at the, the bonfire? There's not even enemies out here. Unless. Unless. Okay, well. So you actually... Uh, if your memory serves, you actually already know how to get through this door. Hmm, okay. Memory's not serving now, but it'll be a fun realization when it does. Oh, what? yeah, Troy, you saw the uh, the elevator down to the firelight. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, that was super cool. Was that, um, was that your gaming moment? Was, like, realizing how it was all, like, built together? Yeah. Nice. Um, I, I just, like, in terms of like, oh, what the f okay, look at that thing. So, is that a okay. pixie dragon? I have a bow. That's cool. Um, so I've been thinking about that, and um, I a little bit of that was spoiled for me. I think when I found the first bonfire coming down the, the bridge with the dragon, like I, that expectation got built for me, right? So finding that the game looped back to the beginning at some point, um, I guess I was expecting at some point. Uh, so now the question is where else are those gonna pop up? And I have an idea that going down into like the nether, uh, the, you know, the, the second bell that's like way, way down, that's gonna end up popping up in Undeadburg in that one room where you fight the three guys. Oh. Uh, you, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you cross that bridge, people are throwing the bombs at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm familiar with that room. Yeah. Yes, yeah. There's a there's a <laughs> door in the back that I couldn't open, and it's just on the other side, it's just a stairwell that goes straight down. And so now I'm thinking, oh, hello. I've seen somewhere between two to five hours of that room. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hate. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Remember the message? Yep, one at a time. Oh wow, I thought you killed that one. I feel like poking would... them with like a sharp little S-stock here would not do much. Because they're plant matter. I get the lawnmower sword. Yeah, you gotta chainsaw that. Oh, nice box. Alright, there we go. So one thing I'm slightly confused about is that Normally, it seems like the bonfires are really few and far between. Mm -hmm. And then this one we have. That was like a that, gimme. That are roughly two buildings away, or like two paths away. And I'm curious going forward why that is. Like, maybe a gate gets blocked or something, and we need the forward one. Well, you did have to go through an illusory wall to find that bonfire. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, I didn't actually save here though. So uh, when you light the bonfire, you save at it. You save, okay. Mm -hmm. But I didn't uh, bring everything back because I didn't sit at it. Right. Okay. All right. Well, it's time. That's a big old wall. Oh, you're moving. Hidden path. All right. I have a feeling. Let me just check out some of these blood things. What am I in for? All right, fighting something that direction. All right, here we go. Oh, why are you moving? Okay. Ooh. Hi, friends. And I'm behind it. Is that your hitting? Just got tentacled. Ooh! Nope, that was not what you were hitting. Mm -mm.
Got him. You sure showed that tree. Good. Um, Ooh. that feels alive still. Like a little surfboard. Is that not alive? <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's it's oh, rag dolly. <laughs> I don't really like that guy. That guy feels like he should be in Subnautica, not like a forest. What do you, don't you mean, why'd it leave? <laughs> Delete the podcast, we're done. <laughs> Make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> we're done. So I, uh, I totally watched Back to the Future. We don't deserve an 11th the weekend. Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hurt the tree. Yo, hit it with a morning star. That'll, that'll like leave some scars. Yeah, I mean, not I could have taken like bigger swings at it, but I'm kind of nervous. Not this, this is why thing. the world is gonna melt because we keep attacking trees. This mm -hmm. is why you all are computer seen... scientists. You're not cut out uh, for physical labor. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm seeing blood stains, but no enemies. I never like that. Totally not a tree boss in here. Hi. What? What are you looking at? It, it's moving. It's most most of the things around here aren't moving. Like that fern is not, but that one is. The breeze, man. Oh, jeez. Seems like there's a cooldown in my ability to hit these guys. You're running out of stamina. There we go. Damn. They're ripped. They've got like abs and everything. <laughs> I think that one may have dropped an item actually. It might be covered in its like lizard fat. Okay. Hey, you're absolutely right. Look at that. Good eye. It's a little messed up. Rip. Okay. Hey. I thought you might be something. Mm-hmm. to recover from that. I just got sliced. Sliced. Mmm, okay, it did not save me. It didn't? Mm-mm. That's... Mm, maybe I'm wrong. I huh? could have sworn that just That's fighting fine. it doesn't... You think it would, but maybe they don't want to take that agency away. Like, they don't want a person to say, "Hey, I found a bonfire, but I'm not going to light it because." Well, you, know, you, like... you did light it. it. Even gave you the bonfire lit notification. There. Yes, but what I mean is, if it worked that way, then like, say I really didn't want to set my spawn there. You know, it would suck to not be able to light it because doing so would set my spawn. So maybe they right. wanted well, you... I mean, lighting it doesn't do anything otherwise.
gonna fight this one here. Did you kindle the bonfire up here? Oh, well. I guess I will. Oh. There we go. Did you go back down to fast roll too? It looks like you're moving faster. Oh. Oh, out of out of green stuff. I had a really good hit on him. Where he did a hit. Nope. Yeah, it was like that. And then, there we go. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. Oh! Silly me thinking a tree would protect me. Now, I don't know what this is about, but I think if he hits me now, I can't move. Yeah, see, I got this, like, weird... Like, what? <laughs> what is wrong with me? I can't move at all. Alright, so he's casting some sort of like reverse hollowing. <laughs> I think in future movement. games they don't call it reverse hollowing, they just say become human. Or restore humanity or something. Yeah. Dude, one of these guys ate me. They put their their shaggy leafy top on top of me Gross. and then just like slowly slowly launched. You're tasty. I did not appreciate. Whoa. Which BS. Or maybe if I just get out of range of it. Like maybe it didn't take on me. Nope, it did. <sighs> so then it's something that he has on him that anything close enough, like within the aura, will be affected by. So maybe I just have to wait till it wears off. Homing through the tree. All right, time to get good. <laughs> I'm playing full cool, cool, truth strategy. The oh, oh, no, no, no. Stop it. Not oh, what? <laughs> what is this? Dude. Oh my god, <laughs> they almost went for a third. You know what I'm a fan of? Shields. So, I mean, I, you may have even noticed it in the like 20 oh. minutes. <laughs> this is. I'm gonna die to trash. That each have like one hit left on them. <laughs> Great. That's alright, this will be a. There is no trash in Dark Souls. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. No. Alright, so those are snakes. Oh, okay, so it's like a two-headed lizard snake thing. <laughs> you got more reach when you're two-handed, you probably 
can hit it from there like that, but they might attack you back. This is not fair. That's not fair. Are, That's wait, fair. are you are you are you speaking for the, I'm the speak lizard? I'm speaking for the lizard, but that's not fair. <laughs> Speaker of the dead. And right. for every previous playthrough I've had of this game, it's not fair what just happened. Okay. I also kind of want to play with this thing. I mean, here it is, a level one, and it's as powerful as my S stock, and it probably has crazy reach. Ooh, <laughs> appears to be heavy. Okay, so this is a weapon that uh, is definitely not as fast as the s -Doc. Yeah, but, I mean, so, okay, so the damage numbers are weird, right? When you see 110 damage or whatever on the s -Doc, that doesn't necessarily mean your right bumper attack mm -hmm. is going to do 110 damage. Is it more like the DPS? Because, like, clearly I this I thing... I honestly don't know. All right. One swing of this basically eradicates my endurance bar. But I suspect you could hurt a lot of things in a big circle. Damn, you've got mad honor letting him get up and everything. <laughs> nope. Oh, and I couldn't roll away. Ooh. You technically have more health than when that hit started. Oh boy. Here we go! See, look at how much further away you can hit that mm -hmm. thing from there. Nice. Okay. I mean, that took all of my flasks, but I finally downed one. Uh, you can't... I know you can't dodge while that's up. I don't even know if you can still swing your weapon. Oh my god. You, you lucked out there. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Get good. Mm -hmm. I like my new halberd. Hul it's uh, it's one of my favorites. Should we push our luck? No, we will not. I mean, you technically did the second one without blasts. Whoa! What? Ambush! <laughs> you got items though yeah but like all those things popped up I was not expecting to have to like go through a menu You're not that far from the bonfire that will definitely do it that was the big one I guess whoop whoop hello <laughs> oh man <laughs> Pretty effective, I am, right? Like you dodge an attack mm -hmm. and then you get through it. Oh, you never checked out the armor you picked up, by the way. I didn't. I'm a little sad for the fact that all these things are back, but it makes sense. These guys weren't like boss difficulty. They were more like the um, the grievous, as the Peter was calling them. Grievous. I don't. Okay. Oh yes. Mm. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, what? What? We're in trouble. We're in trouble. 
Why? I I cooked habaneros tonight. And I could have sworn I washed my face and hands probably. Oh no! No! Oh, I just rubbed my eyes. That's not good, man. Oh. You gotta go take a bath in milk or something now. <laughs> I just tried to... Oh, just keep going. I'm no! Listening. I'm listening. I'm just not watching anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, little Barney. Oh, my God. No. Oh, I was so careful. It's Sorry. the Dark Souls of Cooking. <laughs> the Dark Souls of Cooking. <laughs> Hello, what happened? Are you still with us? Yes, you died. What happened? Um, so I got this sick new armor. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, the elite. If, uh, is it the elite? It's the one you picked up, right? It's the elite. Yes. yes. No, it's it looks sick, but uh, you can't move in it. Yes. You, you've actually seen this armor before. I have. It looked very familiar, but it also looked just very Dark Soulsy. Um, was it off of like that original dude on Trainee Island? Yep. Yep. Okay. He's wearing it. They, yeah. I like that. Call it Fashion Souls for nothing. But hey, so your I, shield's the right I, way. I run like this, though. <laughs> a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's a camera shake when I hit the ground. <laughs> you, you laugh, but you try rolling wearing armor like that. Yeah. Tonight, the lizard. So... Okay. This one's got a different weapon. Yeah, it does. That did not do very much damage. <laughs> okay, I think the uh, that's probably not the way to go. There's a Tom Petty reference in here. Please insert into the video. <laughs> so that is not the way I want to go yet. I don't have the the power to fight him um, in such a closed space. Uh, so then, Jada. you can already hear it. Alright, now I do think that we can beat these crystal dudes. Oh, I don't want to fight too though. That wasn't the well, deal. We've already almost killed the first. Oh, <laughs> that guy. Alright, well there's one. One. Nope. That was greedy. Okay. Oh, you backing up now? Oh, yeah. Is that how it is? He can't. He can't deal with you right now. Oh. I don't. I don't even uh, think that actually does more damage than just 
Right, well, I, I thought maybe it would get like a couple hits in. Oh, he's got the moves. Oh, oh wow, brave Estus. I kind of didn't mean to do that, <laughs> but it worked out. Okay, this homie reminds me of our conversation from the other night where I was arguing about the worst WoW zone. <laughs> Are you ready for the spoiler? Oh, do you is know it, where you are, Gray? Do you know where you are? I'll call. I'll just. So this is looking like, um, like I want to say it's the Dagron, but why don't I see a Dagron? Fatty ahead. Aw, poor Fatty. That's that's shaming, monster shaming. Yeah, he just likes top pot. I like top pot. I mean, it appears to me to be like that right there is the, the tunnel where the bonfire is. And that's where, you know, we go and fight and then the rats are over there. But, like, I should see a giant dragon. So that's why I'm confused. Oh, I heard something. <gasps> Hello. I see you. Hello, fatties. They don't make doors like they used to. <laughs> you want to dance? All right. What? I don't want to do that yet. No. Um. You can't go. just poke somebody through a door and then leave. <laughs> I didn't get to see the Hydra. It's a way bigger deal. Oh boy. Never mind. He saw you. I'm good. <laughs> no, no. No, no. I, I want to get closer because I want to actually see what this dude's all about. Oh, Into the head, okay. Fly, you fool! Alright, so it does get broken up by the trees. That's helpful. He's a spitter. Ah. I think he probably has like a riddle for you. Okay. I'm just gonna take this in a straight. Yep. No! I just wanna get down to there. One more. Can we dodge one more sideways? Mm -mm. No, you can dodge. I have a dodge button. I'm really helpful. You're From so, the I mean, you're so lucky to have me. No, that's that. Oh. You saw him. Yeah, I see him. Is there an item that we have that maybe does um, like spit resistance or water resistance mm -hmm. or? Yes, spit resistance. The most common of RPG stats. Like a certain moss. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you're thinking smart there. Yeah, I just I couldn't move fast enough. Like sometimes if I position myself, what? Oh, the rapture! I've never seen that happen before. Oh, I bet that was okay. a homie getting eaten, right? Okay, <laughs> that's not creepy. Are you going up back to the door? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, so what happened to the bell goyle? Do we just like that oh, other thing? Oh, no, no, he's still there. We're just uh, exploring in a different direction. Which is one of the things I really do like about this game. That, I mean, there may be an expected path or like an optimal path, but I do feel like um, it's the Metroidvania aspect to it. Mm. There you go. Wait, what? No, you have the key! Met Soulsvania. So would uh, would people consider this a Metroidvania? I. It's a Souls like Roy. Souls like light. I don't mean. It, it's certainly got some elements of one, but I think uh, most people are kind of it considered is. its own thing at this point. Oh, it's already triggered. Oh, he got friendly fired though by the. 
By, by the spittle. I think. Yeah. What do you, what's the, pl what's the plural of, like, golem? Like, if you have a gaggle of geese, what do you have with golems? Oh, wow. Goals? Yeah, they're getting wrecked. Big goals. No reason for saying this. You can run. Yes, I, I was trying to run, and this way is, is getting all the way to the side so that I'm, I'm going to be completely lateral <laughs> to, uh, to them. Apropos I mean, nothing, I'm, you can try not getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> now, the thing I was thinking is if I go all the way to the edge here, so I'm going to be running, you know, perpendicular to the fire, which will, as long as it's not like homing, maybe I'll have a chance to get away from. And then also I was going to, um, okay, so now... Can I get out to that thing? Oh! That's right. Get up, get up, get You're up. You're ready. It's fine. Let's go. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> We're not spinning anymore! anybody in the pool. I get that. I feel that. Okay, and then I just got, uh, I got new stuff. You got a lot of new stuff. It's, yeah, but it's all gonna be... It's, eh, it's all it, stuff I can't wear. It's the same as the other set, just worse. So... But not elite, yeah. No, that's too bad. Yo, Andre does not miss a beat. Mm-mm. <laughs> he's like he's like Big Ben. <laughs> it would be great if they patched in sunglasses on the blacksmith. Like the pixelated deal with his sunglasses. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd also like if they pat patched in a better tavern on Solaire or whatever. Like maybe there can be <laughs> a, like Etsy. a they re remastered. Right. Where are you going now? I don't know. We backtracking, boys. We gotta stab this guy in the the bone booty. I want to get that sense of progression. Oh, have you leveled up this guy? Or stock? You did. This is that stock again, or this is long? Yeah, time? yeah, this is that stock. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, you're well, little, nice. Your little hop back ain't gonna do it. I like that. I'm gonna say this area seems like so nice and friendly now, relative to mm -hmm. the. Uh, it used to be scary. The lizard tree zone. I mean, you're so aggressive now. <laughs> oh, I got a titanite shard. Good. So, Take do you think to you're gonna kill him on your first try? Uh, tonight? No. No, I don't think. Let's see, well, you went down a bunch of different branches. Mm hmm. I don't think you found any other leaves, so to speak. My boy. This guy just gets right into it. Del Coyo! That does seem like those two hits did a lot. Relatively. Ooh. So you're fully on blocking those, even though it's kicking you back a ways. Yeah. Um, that's because I got the, the shield. The big boy. That's cool, mm -hmm. though. I mean, I would not expect that based on the way the animation is treating you. Like, Two. it's kicking you back. That'll be a third, and then. Kick him! Oh, man, we got this full. By we, I mean you. Yeah. 
Austin. Until his enrage timer hits. Two, three. Stevie, Stevie, Stevity, Stevity. Mm. Wait, why has he got two health things now? <gasps> <laughs> no. Oh, oh he's on fire. On. This makes me so happy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, but he, it like seems a little corehoundish though. Like, so. I have no idea. No, oh, I can't. It's still one health pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh <laughs> well, you can't deal with two of them. Brutal. Savage <laughs> Rex. <laughs> I like that he rubbed your face in it as he's like lifting the spear off your back or his little axe or whatever. That was awesome. Uh, so Peter called it though with the um, that the gar he'd have some way of like waking up the other gargoyles. Mm. It's, now it's not a spoiler to tell you that the name of the fight is Bell Gargoyles. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is plural. It actually is super dope that there's this number of bosses and hard encounters within like less than five minutes of trash within each other. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Like well, I only... like that it's just a series of these set pieces. Yeah. All in a row. If only they would have designed like wow raids like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Versus like, oh, I don't know, Firelands. Would you like to clear trash for 45 minutes in between boss pools? You would. Do we have a raid for you? Well, that went quite a bit better. Yeah. Got that throat poke. Actually, you remember when I said there's no trash in Dark Souls? Mm-hmm. Th they might be trash. Th those might be trash, yeah. Okay. Oh, was I too tired? Uh, I think I was. Okay, and then I got hurt there because... Ooh. Oh, that was very close. That was a little scary. I need more endurance, I think. Dad! That looked like an idiot. There we go. Set are you on? <laughs> you can actually start to hear the other one flying in. And I brought my boys with me. Come on. If only there was a spit hydra to help. Okay, I did not see did he eat anything when you were Ooh, nice. <laughs> no choice there, I just had to. Gatorade. I'm trying to Ooh. run away. Ah. Uh, a bit better that time. Yeah. There's a uh, there's a fight in Demon Souls, but precursor to this called the Man Eaters. <clears throat> it's basically the same thing, where it like it starts in a one on one, and then all of a sudden it becomes almost like a, a crowd control. Oh. Mm. The um, as far as boss fights go, the the gargoyles here are kind of the um, the first wall. Mm. I think when we played Monster Hunter, I talked about the same thing. That there's kind of like a... You know, like a monster that gives you trouble for the first time. Mm. For, for me, it was the Gargoyles on my first playthrough. Like, like I, I did I did what you did with the Taurus Demon, where it took a couple tries, but eventually I just kind of pulled it out with the... Uh, the strat. With, yeah, with the uh, plunging attack. And then this one... This one kind of makes you get good. If you can beat the gargoyles, you can beat every boss in the game. Hmm. I um I got here without getting hit. I was like, you oh, got yeah. there in less than two minutes. I mean, that was fast. That's not to say the gargoyles are the hardest boss in the game. It's just that like mechanically, you, you learn what, what you, you need learn. to learn. Yeah. What are our level ups costing right now? They're like three to four thousand. Three five. Yeah. Okay. All right, I have a plan here. When he gets going sideways, oh, 
one. Block, hit. Okay. That's some good dips. You just get in so, there. Oof. Ooh. Has he done that? So I want him to come in sideways and swing on me. One. So yeah, you can hear the other one coming in. When you're editing this, you should listen for it. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Oh. Nope, no. That fire does a ton of damage. Yeah, it really does. Oops. But you're it's in, you're getting a good rhythm on that guy. And, and honestly, with how well you're doing against him, just like just think about it. Like already, like you didn't you only use like one Estus against him. If that was the mm -hmm. whole fight, you would have. It, it was really not that complicated. You would have wrecked, wrecked him. There's something pretty satisfying about watching a bunch of these go down at once. Mm -hmm. The synchronized. Is it? They have a good death animation. Yo, I. It's crazy to me that your camera's like locking on and through the walls like that. I <laughs> don't, through. I like the game the never does that to me. I the as far as um Z targeting goes on goes this game's never given me trouble with it. But like it's undeniable that it's happening to you. It's wild. I don't get it. Okay, here we go. Do a sideways. That also was kind of hard to see what the plan was when he did that. Uh, the the camera in the gargoyles was actually probably one of the most common criticisms raised of this game. Mm. Uh, you can see it on a couple different enemy types, but it's really apparent. In the gargoyles. This worked. Yeah. Oh, now they're both. Perfect. They, they on fire! I, I genuinely didn't know the first one could do fire. Is that an enrage timer kind of thing? No. I don't think so. I, I've never seen that before. What was that? Oh, the tail. Okay. No! Oh! <laughs> God, that was the best run yet. Poof. No, I'm, I'm actually, like... I mean, you learn something new every time you play this game, and this time I learned that one of the very first bosses can do something I had no idea it could do. And like, I mean, I've spent a lot of time on the gargoyles, it's not like... My current strategy is when he goes with the sideways swing, I've noticed that I can get up in there, hit my shield, when the swing comes across, then stab. Then he comes across the other direction. Oh. Hit my shield. Stab. And that's kind of the best I've done against him, is when I've caught him in a good rhythm like that. Kind of just doing this. I think, you know, I'll end it with a, a homeward bone. Get oh. The souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I want to fight him again, though. Do it. Right. Oh, that one. off camera. Yeah, yeah. That's a run together. Can you piece through that other door? And what would happen? No, uh, you can't. Okay. <laughs> Homeward bone. More endurance. Oh, do I want more vitality? Or more decks, so that I hit harder with the uh, S-Doc. What do you think? Health think... doesn't seem to be the issue, in my opinion. Because, like, you're either goodness. you're either dead or not. Like... That's... Yeah. I guess. <laughs> but, I mean, like, it's not... It's You're not having a chance to S this up or whatever. Yeah, always, well, so... Like, yeah, I mean, there are times where you get down to just a sliver left, and, you know, having that vitality means you have that sliver. 
Yeah. So it could make the difference in a fight. But it, does one of these help you get to like Estus range faster? Like endurance because you can run more, you know? Because I, it, when you, cool. after you do the three blocks with the shield and then mm -hmm. go in, you don't have much gas left. I'm noticing. Yeah. Um, you have like less than 10% of your green mana left. Yeah. All right. Good place to stop. All right, fellas. Tim, where uh, where can people find you? Uh, I think I'm on Twitter. Mm-hmm. At the T-Day. I assume you'll put the details in a relevant position. Yep, they'll be there in the description. <laughs> and what about you, Troy? Uh, at Troy Edwards on Twitter, and I'm going to send you my live journal mm -hmm. for next time. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Oh boy. Uh, well, um, yeah, catch us on Twitter at uh, Academic Gamer. Uh, send an email to academicgamer at outlook.com if you like what we're doing here. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, tell a friend. Um, but until next time, for me, for Troy, for Tim, uh, we'll see you later. Bye, Andre. <laughs>